On the train, a man's hand gradually became transparent, yet he remained oblivious to this change. This spectacle was only visible to Jack, the one with a unique ability. He could see the dying as transparent individuals. When the man inadvertently collided with Jack's shoulder upon exiting, Jack noticed that even his own body was becoming transparent. Quietly, Jack followed the man, intending to rescue him. However, he found the man's head had also vanished. Before Jack could speak, the man was suddenly struck by a car, losing his life in an instant, witnessing someone's death firsthand left Jack feeling unsettled. The next day, Jack visited a phone repair shop where Mary, the attendant, welcomed him. As they conversed, Jack felt a quick affinity towards her. Just as Mary reached out for his phone, she was astonished to find both of her hands turning transparent. Startled by this sight, Jack hastily left the store. However, recalling the man's death from the previous night, he hesitated and returned to the shop. This time, Mary's neck had also turned transparent. Realizing her time of death was approaching, Jack gathered his courage and asked Mary to meet after work. Though puzzled, she agreed. Alone at the coffee shop, Jack waited until 9 o'clock, fearing something might have happened to Mary. Just as he was starting to worry, she hurried in. At that moment, Jack noticed Mary's hands had returned to normal. Hastily, he grasped her hand, examining it closely. Realizing the abruptness of his actions, he explained everything to Mary. Knowing how absurd it sounded, he understood Mary might not believe him. Consequently, he left. Merely a few steps away, Jack felt excruciating pain in his chest. Seeing Mary unharmed, he surmised it was the price of altering fate. Despite this, he had no regrets. The following day, while polishing cars as usual, Jack was surprised when Mary approached him, handing him a newspaper. The news revealed an explosion at a chemical factory along Jack's usual route home. Had Jack not arranged to meet her, Mary might have perished in the explosion. Knowing his ability could alter others' fates, Jack felt gratified. Yet, not long after, another dying person appeared by his side. The man before him was on the brink of death. His palm gradually turned transparent, until it disappeared completely. Jack witnessed it, all through his unique eyes, capable of seeing others' destinies. Later that morning, an employee took a customer's car for a joyride without permission. Upon discovering this, the boss promptly fired the employee, leading to a dispute. Afterward, the boss's hand turned transparent. Jack suspected the disgruntled ex-employee was planning retaliation against the boss for his dismissal. To safeguard the boss, Jack decisively invited the ex-employee for dinner. As they walked, the boss's head became increasingly transparent. Jack sensed the ex-employee nearby, scanning the surroundings nervously. Suddenly, a man wielding a weapon charged at them. Instinctively, Jack shielded the boss, saving him but succumbing to the backlash. He collapsed, awakening later in the hospital. While awaiting test results, a girl walked past him, and his entire arm disappeared. Before he could react, the doctor intervened. They went to the rooftop, where the doctor informed Jack that they both possessed the foul town eye, capable of foreseeing destinies. The doctor cautioned Jack against interfering to avoid worsening the backlash. Even if Jack temporarily changed others' fates, he couldn't be responsible for their future lives. This advice resonated with Jack, prompting him to calm down. Summoning courage, he confessed his feelings to Mary, who surprisingly reciprocated. They swiftly fell in love. However, one day, while handing a customer their car keys, Jack realized his palm had turned transparent, indicating an imminent accident. Considering the doctor's words and his new girlfriend, he reluctantly handed over the keys. Soon after, due to driver fatigue, the man died in a car accident. At that funeral, witnessing the man's mourners, Jack began to doubt his choices. If he hadn't given the keys, this tragedy might have been averted. This guilt haunted him, even in his nightmares. Before he could recover, an even more shocking event occurred. A man leaped off a speeding subway train. However, it wasn't a suicide attempt, but an effort to save everyone on board. Two days prior, Jack noticed passengers ahead turning transparent light windows. Moving to another carriage, he realized everyone on the entire train displayed the same transparency. Exiting the train, he sought solace in the park. Suddenly, a soccer ball rolled to his feet, and as he reached to return it to a little girl, her hand turned transparent. To his alarm, all the children playing exhibited the same trait. As he inspected the girl's hand, mistaking his intentions, the teacher intervened, mistaking him for a malefactor. Discovering a flyer, stating the kindergarten's upcoming outdoor excursion on the same route. As the Friday morning subway confirmed his fears, to confirm, Jack visited the subway station, finding all the passengers in the rear carriage turning transparent. It was evident that something was amiss with this train. 
Considering Mary's work schedule during this time, Jack decided to intervene for everyone's safety. Before doing so, he sought the doctor's help, revealing his palm for a life expectancy check. The doctor warned against further intervention, as death awaited him if he persisted. Disregarding this, Jack couldn't witness so many deaths. He first arranged a trip with Mary the following Friday and bid a final farewell to his boss. Ready for the inevitable, he met his fate calmly. On that Friday, just as it prepared to leave, Mary's message revealed her inability to join him due to her colleague falling ill. Rushing outside, he endured excruciating pain while sprinting, struggling to catch the subway. He barely made it, only to see Mary aboard. Failing to board, he held a bus and arrived at the next station earlier. As he surveyed the area, he noticed transparent construction workers nearby. Realizing this was the impending disaster site, he signaled frantically to halt the train. Although the workers urged him to leave, he persisted, igniting a signal flare, causing the train to halt abruptly, preventing casualties. However, Jack succumbed to the severe backlash, sacrificing his life. He had saved the passengers' lives alone, unaware and unacknowledged. Perhaps Zen Chiyin's statement held true. The greater the ability, the greater the responsibility. If you possessed the power to foresee life and death, would you make the same choices as Jack did?